This is the Hyperspin Attraction System. It's an emulation system that you can use with your computer, any computer, with an awesome emulation front end all set up for you, all the emulators pre-configured and ready to rock, and it's packed with retro games. Freaking 12 terabytes of retro games. We're talking 50 years of gaming history in this one tiny little box. And you can buy this on Amazon. Can you freaking believe it? Of course you can't, because you haven't watched this video yet. Hello, hi, I'm TechDweeb, welcome, thanks for clicking on the video today. This may look like a black rectangle, because it is, but it's also a hard drive. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, a hard drive for a computer? What are you, a nerd? And, uh, well, yeah. Uh, maybe I am, I guess. Uh, you don't have to give me a hard time about it. Especially because this drive is more than just a drive. It's a gateway to a lifetime of games. It is nothing short of the most well-done, impressive emulation drive that I've ever seen. This thing is 12 terabytes. 12 freaking terabytes of retro games. <laughs> oh baby, wait till you see what this thing could do. It's magical. That, that's all there is to it. Just plug this bad boy into your computer and boom, you're transported into a world of emulation with a fun, snappy, beautiful, colorful front end that makes browsing through the history of gaming fun. Every freaking retro game you could possibly ever want, including the higher end stuff. We're talking PS2, Xbox, GameCube, PS3, Xbox 360, 3DS, Wii, Wii U, Nintendo Switch, and apparently even PS4 and PS5 and PC games. <laughs> we'll check that out in a bit. And everything is all set up for you. Literally, all you have to do is start up the game and it all just freaking works. If you've been thinking about getting into this retro game stuff, but you've been scared away because it seemed too complicated, then this is for you. If you want a huge collection of games, 12 terabytes of games, and you don't want to have to download them yourself, this is for you. If you are an emulation enthusiast and you want an amazing system that is set up well and everything works exactly as it should, then this is for you. And if you're looking to learn how to move out of your mom's basement and get a real job and start getting your life on track, then this isn't for you. <laughs> and you're on the wrong channel for that, my friend. <laughs> The cost of this thing is $300, and before you go down to the comments and complain about the price, watch the video first because I'm going to talk about the value, and I think that this is actually an amazing price for what you get here, and I'll also show you some cheaper alternatives. So without further dilly-dallying, as my mom would say, let's dive into the hyperspin attraction system, shall we? Whee! First things second, let's go over what this is and what you'll need to use it. This drive runs the program Hyperspin Attraction, and that runs on Windows, so you'll need a Windows computer to use this. Any Windows computer will run this though, so a desktop PC, a laptop, a mini PC, any reasonable computer with an updated version of Windows will be good to go. The older stuff will run fine on basically any computer, <laughs> even your toaster could play everything up to PS1, Nintendo 64, PSP, so if you have an old laptop or whatever, you'll still be able to enjoy a ton of stuff. But if you want to run the higher end stuff like PS2, GameCube, Dreamcast, you'll need a bit of a faster PC. And for the very high end stuff like PS3, Xbox 360, Nintendo Switch, you're going to need a gaming PC of some sort. However, there are lots of cheap options for getting really good emulation performance. My favorite way to use these drives is to have a dedicated mini PC just for emulation. I've reviewed quite a few, you can check them out on my channel, and I will link to a few good ones at the different price points in the description below. You will also want a controller of some sort. You can play the games on your keyboard, but only monsters do that, and you're not a monster, I hope. So get a controller, either a Bluetooth controller or a wireless PC controller or a wired controller. I don't care what you use. I've reviewed quite a few on my channel if you want to see what they're about. And I will link to a few good ones that I like in the description below. And th th that's it. That that's what you need. A the drive, a computer, and a controller. 
getting set up is a breeze. You just plug in the USB cable and the power cable, plug it into your computer, push the power button, and then you'll see the drive in Windows. Open that and you'll see a few folders. Uh, I recommend following the included instructions at this point. There, there's just a few drivers and runtimes and fonts on here that you might need, so you might as well just install them. The instructions are very clear and easy to follow, and it only takes two minutes. And then you're ready to start up the program and be transported back in time to the world of retro games. <laughs> we're greeted by a super fancy little intro movie. Th that's nice. And then we're in the front end. So let me give you a quick tour here before we get into the specific specifics. As you can see, there's a list of stuff on the right hand side. These are playlists. So you get playlists for oh, all sorts of stuff, really. There are playlists for individual systems. So if you just want to play some Super Nintendo, then you could go to the Super Nintendo playlist. And in here are all the Super Nintendo games. <laughs> Every Super Nintendo game ever is in here. And each game has a nice little movie preview so you can see what the game looks like. You can also press Y here to add your games to your favorites list. Press A to start the game and the game will start right up. As you can see, there's a nice bezel on the outside of the screen that matches the game that you're playing. And the game runs amazing, obviously. It looks great, it plays great. You can press L3 and R3 to get the RetroArch menu where you can save and load your state and do all the other RetroArch stuff you could want if you're into that sort of thing. And then when you're done playing, you can just press start and select at the same time and the game will exit. It's all super easy. Uh, apart from a few exceptions that we'll talk about, you don't have to do anything really. It's all set up for you. Everything just works. It's quick and snappy and easy and fun. There are also playlists for game series. For example, if you like, well, I don't know, Pokemon. They're, they've collected all the Pokemon games into one playlist. So you've got all the official Pokemon games and then there's also a bunch of extra versions and ROM hacks. <laughs> this drive is just full of surprises. There's so much on here. It's baffling. There is a lot of love and care that's gone into building these collections. I love that it's just fun. You can just go right into the system you want, but you can also browse around and find all of these cool collections that you didn't know you wanted. Oh, and there is some basic options in the front end. You can really just toggle the bezels and the shaders that are applied by default for several systems. You can adjust things yourself as much as you want in the actual emulators, but it's nice that they have these simple options here for people who don't know how to do that stuff. And there's so much stuff here, you guys. You have no idea. It would be a, a multiple hours long video to show you everything, so I'm going to have to gloss over a lot, but well, I'll cover the basics. All of the old retro systems are going to be complete on here. We're talking old stuff like Atari, Amstrad CPC, Commodore 64, consoles like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, TurboGrafx-16, Sega Genesis, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. The collections are complete and they are amazing. Uh, 1G, 1R ROM sets. That's exactly the way I like them. That means one game, one ROM. So you're not going to get a bunch of duplicate games or weird versions, and they'll all be English games with a North American priority. Except that they have included the different regions for most systems. They just put them in different lists. This is the best of both worlds. You get like Japanese Super Nintendo games under the Super Famicom list, but you also get English games under the regular Super Nintendo list. And the games all work instantly. No setup required. And and not only do we get complete collections of the really old stuff, we also get complete ROM sets for the early 3D stuff. Every single PS1, Sega Saturn, and Nintendo 64 game is on here. Okay, that, that's pretty impressive. But also, every GameCube game, and every Dreamcast game, and every PSP game, and every Wii game, every single game from those systems. That's just nuts, man. Just that stuff alone. Getting access to every GameCube game ever, it, it just it hurts my brain if I think too hard about it. Even just getting this thing to use as like a ROM collection, if you just want to obtain the ROM so you can copy them over to your other devices, that alone makes this thing worth it, <laughs> for me at least. Uh, moving on, we don't get every PS2 game, but there's a ton on here. Over a thousand PS2 games. <laughs> That's a lot of PS2 games, man. And also Xbox, 627 Xbox games. Again, all the emulators, all set up for you. No configuration needed. Just start up your game and play your game. You can set up hotkeys or change the resolution or whatever on a per emulator basis if, if you know how to do that. But if you don't, then don't worry about it. Just play the games. <laughs> they look great and they work great. And then for the higher end stuff, now we're getting into very large game sizes. 
23 PS3 games. Th that's a fine amount. We get 116 Xbox 360 games. And these are full games, not Xbox Live Arcade games, full disc games. All the best Xbox 360 games are on here. And both PS3 and Xbox 360 work great. Uh, I should mention that obviously your performance and the ability to use upscaling is going to depend on the PC that you're running this on. I'm playing this on a mid-range gaming PC with an RTX 3060. If you're on a light gaming PC, then you might not get quite this level of performance. And if you're on a low-end PC, you can forget about this high-end stuff entirely. But in terms of the ROMs and the emulators and the system, there are zero issues with running this stuff. It all works exactly as expected. It's just all gathered up in a nice neat package. And uh, then they have some stuff that I, I really don't want to talk about, but it's on here, so I gotta. They have PS4 and PS5 games. But those aren't actually PS4 and PS5 games. Those are PC games, PC versions of those games. And there's also another section of just pure PC games. There's 175 PC games in there. Now, I don't want to get into a big thing about what is and isn't piracy and whether or not emulation is piracy. I already made a video about this. Go and watch that if you want to know where I stand. So I'm, I'm just going to leave it at that. There's PC games on here. They work, but I'm not going to touch these. And frankly, I wish that they would just leave this sort of stuff off and just put on more like PS2 and Xbox 360 and 3DS games. And uh, there is a ton of other stuff on here. I can't show it to you all. There's just, there's too much. And frankly, I keep on finding new stuff. There's pinball emulation, all those weird computer systems, old DOS games, slot machine stuff. Pretty much any type of emulation you can think of is on here. I'm not saying that everything ever is on here, but it's pretty darn close. This is the most complete emulation collection that I've ever seen. When I make videos about these products, these emulation drives, I always get people in the comments who are like, oh, why are they charging money for that? You could just do this yourself. And they're right, but they're also not right because they're wrong. They're right because yes, you can set this up yourself. You can just go download the emulation front end and download all the software and run times and add your own games and do all the box art and video scraping and set up the emulators and make sure everything's all pre-configured to work right away and buy an external hard drive and put the whole setup on the drive and then yeah, you'll have this and you didn't have to buy it. However, they're wrong because not everyone has the skills to do this or the desire to spend time figuring out all the little parts, the internet bandwidth to download freaking 12 terabytes of retro games, or most importantly, the time to do any of this. I'm a tech dweeb. I like spending time tinkering with retro emulators, but even for me, building this would be a daunting task. I love when I find a product that's all set up and ready to go the way that I would do it myself so that I don't have to toil over organizing ROM sets and dealing with emulator settings and stuff. And what people tend to gloss over is that there's an actual physical product here. This is a Ugreen hard drive enclosure and a 12 terabyte hard drive. The cheapest version of both those things on Amazon will set you back 230 bucks. This is 280 bucks. There's the $20 off coupon, 280. So for $50, not having to download 12 freaking terabytes of retro games and set up hyperspin, you're just wrong if you think this is a bad value. It's not, it's an amazing value. I'm glad that this exists for people who want a massive collection of retro games and don't want to have to mess around. So that's what I think about it. I think it's great, not just because the front end is nice, a big, bright, colorful, fun feast for the senses, and not just because the games all work great, with emulators all set up and working perfect and with shaders and bezels where appropriate, but also because of how much work has gone into making this and the time that it will save you if you want to do this for yourself. It's not perfect, but it's dang near close. And this is the most impressive emulation drive that I've ever played with. And you could buy it on Amazon. What a world. I'll include a link in the description below if you want to pick one up. And that brings us to the end. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at the Hyperspin Attraction system. Thanks for watching and stuff. If you like this video, then check out this video. My review of the Chris Cool Mod Retro Beast. A similar product that I also loved and is definitely worth checking out if you want something smaller than this. Or bigger. They make a 96 terabyte version. <laughs> Holy crap. There's a link on the screen and down in the description below. So go watch that now. 
now because we're done. I'm Tech Tweeb. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.